In this video tutorial, we will learn some good tips and tricks about uh, name ranges uh, in Microsoft Excel. So let's get start. Uh, as you know, as an Excel user, you know that every cell has a name, has, 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 has its own address. So for example, currently I am actively on cell D3, right? So this is the address of a cell where I am uh, presently uh, active on this current spreadsheet so for example if i want to change uh, the name of this cell address it's very simple i have to go to this name box and uh, i have to type a new name which uh, which i want to give and i will press enter key so whenever i will return back to d3 now the name box is showing instead of d3 it shows a name that is called raheem right so what I did is I changed the name of this current cell address and uh, th this is the one cell address name we have changed we can also do with an array or a range or a group of cells so for example if I select an array and I want to give this particular array a name so I, I will again go to this name box and uh, for example I will type finance so I have given this name range as a finance in my this current spreadsheet right so you can give um, many names as you want and uh, there is no limitation to it but the names could not be the duplicate and in the name ranges you are not allowed to ha include the space so for example if I want to give this name range uh, a name which is called uh, Rahim Ali so I cannot add a space in this name range because Excel will give me a warning that you must enter a valid reference you want to go to or type a valid name for the selection so uh, either you can uh, type Rahim Ali together or you can also do Rahim underscore Ali okay so as soon as you give uh, many name ranges to your spreadsheet all these name ranges are stored and you can also use them in the formulas or function later on so if if we go to the formulas tab here and when you click on name manager so whatever all the name ranges you have created will be listed here on this dialog window of name manager so from here from this window if you want to rename any name range or you want to edit the uh, location uh, you can do it and also you can delete the name ranges you would if you would like to so okay so so there is one way possible way of uh, recalling the name ranges is very easy that for example you created 10 12 or 15 name ranges on your spreadsheet and uh, if you want to uh, use them in your formulas or function so or, or you want to reach that particular name range so you have to go to name box and click on this drop down and when you click on it all the name ranges will be available on your spreadsheet uh, it will be list down here so whenever you click on any of the name range Excel will let you to that current name range area right uh, this is the one way of of uh, accessing the name ranges the the other way is already I told you that you can go to the formulas tab and click on name manager and uh, where you will find all the name ranges and you can add it delete or create a new one this is the second way of accessing all your name ranges within this workbook the third way is there is a shortcut key which is called f3 okay so when you press f3 function key f3 uh, there will be a dialog window of paste name will appear and what you can do is click on the paste list button so when you click on paste list excel will give you all the name ranges names and their respective locations so this is how for example if you are creating a financial model or if you are creating an MIS report or any any business reporting model so when, whenever you create 20 30 40 name ranges you want to have a list of that as well so that you can uh, use later on uh, with the other functions so it's a good practice to have to store a list in a separate sheet uh, where you aware that 
what kind of name ranges are available so this is one of the way uh, the shortcut is f3 and uh, you have to click on paste list right the fourth one uh, fourth way of uh, accessing the name ranges is that uh, you know that whenever you open a spreadsheet your spreadsheet is by default on 100% zoom and uh, when you go to this application interface bottom right side you will find a percentage and and a zoom in and zoom out buttons as well so when you click on zoom percentage uh, a zoom dialog window will appear here and in the custom area if you add a number below 40 it could be 39 it could be 38 so for example if I write 39 here and I will press OK so as as soon as I enter 39 you can see that your spreadsheet is on 39 percent zoom and uh, in the advantage of uh, making it below 40 is that uh, the name ranges appears on the spreadsheet so as you can see that finance and Naheem underscore Ali so this is one of the good way of locating your name ranges uh, you can see with your naked eyes uh, when you do zoom uh, below 40 so this will appear all the name ranges appear as a watermark and you can see easily that what or which kind of a name range is appear on in which area on my spreadsheet as well so this is one of the way of uh, navigating and accessing your name ranges on this spreadsheet so there were four ways of accessing the name ranges uh, one one of the advantage is that for example if I write some numbers and I want to do a sum in in the other area of the spreadsheet or for example in, in a new sheet so whenever I apply any kind of formula or a function for example if I want to do some of these numbers or if, if I am using VLOOKUP or any other thing so let's say I have to go to the data source I need to select that data and then I need to close this parenthesis and I will get the sum of all these numbers but for example if before that before applying any function if if I can make a name of this particular array so for example if I give a name of balances right so for example now I will apply the sum function and I know that I have given a name that is called balances so as soon as I write some initials you can see that this intelligence uh, there is there is a small icon of table and balances is written here so this is our name range and we can call it so as soon as I press the tab key the balances has been typed completely by Excel and automatically that particular range has been selected so I don't need to go to the data source every time and select the range and come back to the function so it's very easy uh, when you create the name ranges you don't have to go to the data source again and again for selecting from a different sheet or from a different array within that particular worksheet right for example if I use average so I can call balances now for example if you forget that name range you have given so there is an easy way you just need to press a shortcut key that is called F3 so when you press F3 a paste name window will appear and from here you can just uh, select the right name range which you want to be add in your function so press OK and you can see that the, the range has been selected automatically remember that all the name ranges which you create are by default absolute at the back end so these are absolute references all the name ranges are absolute now the last technique about the name ranges is that for example if I have a data right and I have a lot of columns in my data and I want to create a, a name range for each of the column so the first way of doing it that for example I will select the first column entire column and I will go to the name box and give it a neat and nice name right then I will go to the second column I will select the entire second column and I will again go to the name box or I will go to the name manager and I will click new to give a name of this particular column as a name range then I will select the third column fourth column and so on and that will take a lot of time in in doing it 
because in my data source there are more than 15 or 20 columns and that will take around 8 to 10 minutes so what is the quickest way of uh, giving each of the column name a separate as a name range uh, within few seconds so let me tell you that technique what you are required to do is first select your entire data source okay so select the entire data source or database and um, in the formulas tab click on create from selection so when you click on create from selection this window is asking uh, that uh, uh, this particular feature will give each of your column a name but from where all those names could be picked so we are saying to this uh, create names from selection that give each of the column a separate name and that name will be picked from the top row because we know that every data source first row contains a titles so each of the column will be assigned a name and that name will be picked by a top row of this data source so i have check mark on a top row okay when i press ok and when i go to name manager so you can see that within a second all the columns have been assigned with a proper name and this is how you have done uh, this smart technique within one or two seconds so whenever you have this kind of a requirement where you have a data source and you want to assign each of the column a separate name you can use create from selection and the option of top row where within a second within one or two second uh, each of the column name will be assigned and then you can use uh, all these name ranges in your functions like sum ifs count ifs we look up some and that could be very easy for you to uh, don't go to the data source again and again and that will give you an advantage and one more way is that uh, when you convert your data source when you convert your uh, database basically when you convert your database into a table format so whenever a new data will get append your uh, name ranges will get also updated automatically so that's one more technique uh, you need to consider because at this point of time this data source is is not being converted into a table so for example next week if more data will come so you need to make sure that your name ranges could be update uh, but if you convert this name this uh, database into a table format the converting this data source into a table format is very easy uh, go to insert tab and click on table so whenever your new data source will get append your name ranges will update automatically and you don't need to uh, change anything uh, in, in your functions or formulas so i hope you like this video and all the techniques related to the name ranges thank you